I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who well peace and salutations to the elect and much respect to the brothers pushing his word in the four winds of the earth and shalom to you few sincere sisters out there as well. It's Brother Ariyah coming at you with another lesson here. And this is a, a video of um, some uh, Syrian uh, refugees here. <clears throat> They're all talking about, uh, you know, coming to America or why they want to come to America. But if you pay attention, what it says down here, the 511 uh, tactical jacket, right? That's what this dude has on right here, a 511 tactical jacket, which is pretty much uh, uh, military wear, man. You know, men in the military uh, wear this uh, type of clothing, man. <clears throat> you can look it up and see for yourself. This is a 511 uh, tactical jacket, man. Okay? So they're not come, they coming over here, but it's not to find a better life, right? Or, or, or to, you know, make money and send it back home or anything like that, man. There's a reason why, why they're allowing them to come over here. And then when they do come over here, they're giving money, right? They're giving a, a place to live for free, right? They're giving food. <clears throat> all of these things, you know, so they can be comfortable over here because at the end of the day, they have a job to do, okay? And their job is going to be to, to basically terrorize us over here, you know? These these uh, these dudes from the Middle East, uh, you know, these, these guys from China, you know, these guys from Africa, you know? That's what they're coming over over here for, man. They're basically paid uh, mercenaries, man. So I'm gonna let you check this out real quick, you know. And they, you know, they can speak English, but this first guy with the five eleven jacket act like he can't speak no English, man. Check it out. Where are you from? Syria. 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 Uh, what's your name? Milad. Milad. Why'd you come to the U.S.? Uh, why coming to U.S.? Yeah, you see? No. No English. Okay. See that bullshit? No English. He just asked what his name was, and he responded quickly. Right? And he asked him another question, and he responded quickly. And then as soon as he asked him, why the hell is he coming over here? He looks over to to this dude on the on the right of him. Like, he doesn't understand what he said, man. You know? He's playing stupid, and a lot of foreigners play stupid when it comes to that. They act like they can't speak English, but he knows what he's coming over here to do, you know? Where are you from? From Syria. Syria? English? So, so. Why are you coming to the U.S.? Why come? Because we, uh, we love America, and uh, we need uh, a nice style, a nice life. Yeah. Coming for jobs? Yeah, a nice job, a nice, uh, because uh, our country uh, uh, very weird. What's your name? Danny. Danny. Good luck. Thank you. Where are you from? I'm from Syria. Syria, too? What's your name? Amr. Amr? Amr. Uh, same question, why do you come to the U.S.? I'm Spanish or Arabic, no. Where are you from? Where are you from? Syria. Yeah, so this is an article uh, I seen um, yesterday. And it says the U.S. general blows whistle on Chinese border crossers. He says they are coming to slaughter us. And it says a retired Air Force general has blown the whistle on the imminent threat facing Americans that nobody in the mainstream media appears to be talking about. According to the according to General uh, Blaine Hope, China is laying the groundwork for an attack against the U.S. by exploiting the porous open southern border. Right, when you attack a, a kingdom, if, especially one as vast as uh, Babylon the Great, you attack you attack it from within. You know, 
That's how you attack it. That's how you overtake it. You attack it from within, you know? So this place is definitely uh, being uh, invaded, you know, and from within, it will begin to uh, be uh, destroyed little by little, of course, until those missiles come, you know? But a kingdom, a strong kingdom uh, like this must be attacked and um, destroyed uh, from within, man. And that's what they're doing. And it says tens of thousands of military-aged men have come across our border and are now in America. And organized by group and nationality, Holt told the Gatestone Institute, among them are terrorists and state actors, in particular members of the People's Liberation Army of China. As we speak, these actors are training, making plans, and obtaining weapons, watching our patterns, and learning our vulner vulnerabilities. <laughs> that, I, I can, that's always been a tough word for me. Okay, but yes, we you know they're looking to see what make what, you know what makes people vulnerable, man. You know what they're susceptible to, right? And it says we are vulnerable to attack, and hope continued. Our enemies eagerly wait, man. Okay. They eagerly wait, and they can't wait for them to get the green light, okay? They can't wait. You know, <laughs> they see these women over here on TikTok shaking their ass all the time. You know, a lot of women is going to get, I'm telling you, they're going to get taken, man. A lot of these women out here are going to be taken, man. These dudes, is they watching. They they ready and waiting. They they over here, They they you know, they're pretty much opportunists, man. You know? You know, so they they see an opportunity where they can, you know, get them some women, right? By force, of course. You know, they can get them some goods. You know, they can get free room and board, three hots in a cot, or three hots in a, in, in a in, in a, a a hotel room, right? And whatever else, you know, they're being promised, man. And it says China expert Gordon Chang explaining how this plan is part of China's unrestricted warfare doctrine, first outlined in Chinese agents in addition to hobbling Americans with disease and gunning them down. Could bomb power stations, attack military bases, start wildfires, poison reservoirs, you see that? Attacking from within, man. Attacking from within or create terror in dozens of ways. These tactics come straight out of uh, unrestricted warfare. A 1999 book written by two Chinese Air Force uh, colonels and first published by the PLA Literature and Arts Publishing House in Beijing. Uh, the colonels argue that China can can and should employ any tactic in attacking a military superior United States. Now, Americans can see how Beijing is operationalizing the suggestions in this how-to manual. You know? And they're getting ready, man. It says there is no Second Amendment in China, and Chinese citizens are not permitted to possess firearms. So it is possible that the shooters in the videos are merely taking advantage of a newfound freedom in their new home country. <laughs> you know, you probably got them shooting guns over here in the United States. And what are they practicing for, man? Okay. Soon, um, American citizens are going to be the target practice, man. You know, a lot of people are going to be killed by the sword, man. You know, this is what the Bible is talking about. It says one of the migrants' video was in America for only three weeks and arrived in the country with no money and no identification. And it says if you had just landed somewhere as a migrant with nothing to your name, you would be undoubtedly you would undoubtedly, undoubtedly be preoccupied with finding your next meal, getting a place to live, making a livelihood. You would not within weeks of entering your new homeland be sharpening your skills to kill. 
Oh man, this article is uh, it's crazy here, man. But I'm not gonna read it all, you know. But you you get what's uh, being said, man. Okay, pretty sure you picking up what I'm putting down, man. And that's what they over here for, man. You know, and it's no secret now. You know, everyone pretty much knows this, man. This is not a secret. Okay, but we just waiting for uh, when it happens because it is going to happen, man. And it's going to get real bad out here, man. Okay, it's going to get real bad. The opposition is, is among us, man. The opposition is among us. Okay, but we ain't going to, we, you know, us Israelites, GMS, you know, uh, uh, affiliates. Okay, we're not going to be, you know, out here with guns uh, seeking to, to, to kill or hurt anyone. Yes, of course, we will protect ourselves, but we're not going to be out here, you know, while everyone else is wilding out doing whatever they're doing, okay? We're going to be sitting and waiting patiently on the Lord, man, okay? During this time when, when all hell is breaking loose, everybody's going to be losing their head, okay? But we're going to be, uh, you know, we're going to have our wits with us, man, you know? We're going to be praying. We're going to be praying to the Lord, man, you know? That's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be praying to the Lord and having faith in the Lord. That's what we're going to be doing. I just had to put that out there. You know, that's 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 what you should do when when these things pop off, man, because it's coming. And this is a quick cutter here. It's a quick cut. Um, quick lesson here. The second Ezra is 15. Okay, and it's 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and the destruction draw of nigh. You know, we see it. We see the destruction of these people and the, and, and the Heavenly Father unleashing that sword, that whooping stick, which is Esau, Edom. Okay? It's drawing nigh, man. It's getting closer and closer. And while everyone is out here uh, bullshitting and playing around, you know, they're going to be uh, caught off guard, man. For the sword and their destruction draw of nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. You know, and that uh, that's going to be, I believe, the, the start of the civil war, man, with these with these migrants, man. That, that's what's going to happen. I believe, I believe that, man, wholeheartedly, man. That's going to be the start of it, man. When they start trying to come in and wild out, because they already... They already going crazy in New York. Shit, they, yo, know, they they kind of taking New York City over, man. They taking it over, little by little, okay. And they're not just in New York; they're in other states in America as well, man. Okay, so this is not this is just a, a great infiltration, right? And I, I believe that's gonna start uh, the civil war over here, man. You know them proud boys. You know, you already know they ain't happy with them uh, migrants being over here, man. So, it's shit. You already know it's going to go down. They're going to fight against another, one against another, and swords in their hands. For there should be sedition among men, and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid, man. You know, and it's going to be these uh, military-aged men, if you will, that's coming across these borders, that's going to be invading houses, man. You know, I don't believe it's going to be American soldiers doing this, because they got, you know, other things to worry about across seas. And you can see this shit being uh, done by design, man. This is why they're being brought over here, right? Because, it, you know, U.S. soldiers is not going to, uh, you know, be kicking down doors and, and you know, taking people out of their houses, you know, stealing shit and, 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 you know, raping people's wives and all that, you know? You know fondling people's children. They ain't going to be doing all that, man. It's these people that's, that's coming over here, you know, these paid mercenaries, if you will, that's going to be doing, you know, a bulk of what I just said, man. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. 
okay? And these times are, are coming uh, swiftly. And I'm noticing that I'm doing more and more lessons on these uh on these migrants, man. Because, you, you know, you got to keep an eye on that, man. The shit can pop off at any time, man. You know, there's other things, of course, to, to keep an eye on. But the, the Lord has put it on my spirit to, to keep an eye on this, man. And I'm constantly seeing, uh, you know, videos on this, man. Let's get um, let's get 49 real quick. Verse 49, it says, I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine. Right? Uh, another um, um, chicken factory just got blown up, man. Uh, another one, you know? The famine, the sword, and pestilence to waste thy houses with destruction and death, man. And that's what's coming, destruction and death, man. The Heavenly Father is angry and he's sending all of these things to destroy the wicked, man. Okay? The wicked people. Not just Esau, but all the wicked people, man, that, that inhabit the land of Babylon the Great, man. You know? There's going to be great tribulation. There's going to be great death, you know, coming. You know, death is going to be on every side. And those who are meant to die are not going to escape it, man. Let's get second address. As a matter of fact, I can just go right through this. Second Ezra 16, let's get 22. And it says, For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And it says, And the dead shall be cast out as dung, Right? Because there's going to be a lot of dead bodies out here, man. You know, when they're out here doing what they're doing, people fighting against each other, you know, people, um, you know, fighting for their lives, so to speak, man. There's going to be a lot of dead people, uh, you know, left on these streets out here, man. And that's going to bring another pestilence, man. That's going to do nothing but bring more pestilence. Right? There ain't going to be no food. Some people may uh, collect body or body parts, and start eating them, man. You know? That's going to cause them to get sick. And there's going to be a lot of things going on, man. And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them. For the earth shall be wasted, and the cities shall be cast down, man. You know? That's why, you know, people always say when shit hit the fan, get out the city. You know? Because that's where it's going to be the worst. And this is why the scriptures say, you know, we shall be as pilgrims on the earth because we going to be the we going to be the ones, you know, uh, migrating, if you will, man, like pilgrims on the earth, man, like a vagabond moving to and fro, you know, escaping the danger, man. You know, the spirit is going to be leading brothers and sisters in the right direction, man. You know, the heavenly father is going to have us under his wings, protecting us and guiding us, man, during this time. Let's get uh, 33 and 34. And it says, The virgin shall mourn having no bridegrooms. The women shall mourn having no husbands. And their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. In the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed. And their husbands shall perish of famine. Right? <clears throat> and yeah, that's, that's definitely going to happen. A lot of these men are going to be uh, drafted into the milita uh, military draft. You know, leaving, you know, their wives and, and their uh their families behind to go fight the war. Because either way, you get drafted, you're gonna have to go either fight the war or your ass gonna get locked up. And we all know once you go across seas over there to that war, you ain't coming back, man. Okay, so these women are gonna be left uh by themselves, man, to to defend themselves, man, to fend for themselves. Okay? And this is when, you know, these um <laughs> These uh, paid mercenaries come in, man. They're going to come over here. They're going to have a field day out here, man. And they're getting ready, man. That article makes hella sense. Why would you come over here if you were a, a migrant, you know, and you don't have no money, no nothing, no no place to live or anything like that? You know, you would, you would want to uh, come over here and, and try to make some bread so you can survive, so you can eat, so you got some place to live. These dudes coming over here uh, having uh, target practice, man. Which also was further lets you know they, they were brought over here, man. 
They ain't come over here. They was brought over here, man. Okay? To do a specific task. Okay? And that's the cause of mayhem, man. That's what they coming here for. For that mayhem. Let's get uh, 70 and 72. All right? And it says, For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses, man. You know, and this is what they're going to be doing out here. You know, soon come. You know, even, you know, it's going to happen to some of us. And some of us, maybe, you know, angel may come down or, you know, the Lord may whisper in your ear and say, yo, Get out your house. Go. Get out of here. For some, it may not happen, man. You know? But it's coming sooner than we think, man. It is. It's all around us, man. You know? It's all around us. Shit, we shit, we thought we was behind enemy lines before. Shit, we definitely now uh most certainly behind enemy lines for real, man. You know? Because these these dudes is is seeking to to murder and and pillage, okay? To to murder and, and pillage and, and rape and, and destroy. This is what they want to do. Right? With that word pillage. Right? It goes into rob a place using violence, especially in wartime, man. And we in a time of war, man. Okay? We are in a time of war. The world is in the spirit of war, you know, because the Lord is a man of war. So he's gearing everyone up to be in that same spirit. Okay, we in it. We are definitely in a time of war right now, man. It says robbery. This is similar, uh, robbery, uh, robbing, raiding, pillaging, plunder. Okay, looting, ransacking, devastation, laying waste. Rape, okay, D uh, depredation, marauding, okay, this is what they coming over here to do, to plunder, to pillage, to rape, okay, to destroy, to kill, man, you know, these people are bloodthirsty, man, they're not coming over here to play any games, and Esau is going to give them all the weaponry and all the backup that these people need, man. This is why we going we going we need the Lord, man. This is this is one of the many reasons why we need the Lord, man. And the Lord says he's going to uh, uh, set up a standard, uh, lift up a standard against them, man. So brothers is going to be getting spiritual power and all, all that, man, to defend themselves and to def and to defend others, man. You know, we in some beautiful times right now, man. You know? But it's going to get bad before it gets better, man. It's going to get real bad before it gets better. Let's get uh, Isaiah 13. We'll read 11 through 16. It says, And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity, and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. It's talking about Esau, Edom. It says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir, right? Because there ain't going to be too many men out here left. Second address, uh, what is it, 15, either 15 or 16, it says there should be like four of a city left. You know, a man shall, shall, uh, a man shall uh, desire to hear another man's voice. That's how many, that's how few people there's going to be left, man. Because so many people are going to die, okay? Because death is going to be at every corner, man. You know? Death is going to be at every corner. Now, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place and the wrath of the Lord of hosts and in the day of his fierce anger. And it shall be as the chase roe and as a sheep that no man taketh up, they shall every man turn to his own people and flee everyone into his own land. 
and every one that is found shall be thrust through, and every one that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. And their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes, right? And that's what these these uh these migrants, or uh, so-called migrants, these <coughs> Slovakia, these dudes coming over here trying to act sin, trying to act innocent, is going to be doing these things, man. Shit, shit goes down over there in the third world countries, man. These heathens is crazy, man. Okay, they do a lot of bugged out shit. Okay, so when they come over here, shit, I feel like it's going to be uh, heightened because it's going to be a, a free for all, man. This this land is going to be lawless, man. Okay, they're going to have them demons on them and they're going to be out here on demon time for real, man. You know, these two thirds talk about they on demon time. The Lord about to show them demon time for real, man. It says their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished, man. Okay? Some men are going to have their wives uh, ravished right in front of them, man. You already know what ravished mean. it means to be graped. Okay? And a lot of men are going to have to witness that, man. You know? These heathens will probably uh, tie them up or, or hold them down. And make them watch. You know? It's going to be a lot of crazy shit going on out here. Okay? A lot of crazy shit, man. These people are gearing up. They're gearing up for war. You know? And they got a thirst for blood, man. So, shit. All we can do is pray to the Heavenly Father. You know, stay prayed up. And keep the faith, man. You know? Because we coming into some... some terrible and, and turbulent times it may not seem like it to some of you you know but watch when this shit pop off and you're gonna see for real man things about to really take a turn for the worse man shalom